Hello everybody and welcome to this Dark Sword assembly video and we're just going to cover one quick thing and that is attaching complex joints like say the wings here maybe not so complex things like the arm over here without pins because pinning sometimes is just not practical or whatever and that is where we're going to combine green stuff and glue it can be any old glue. It doesn't have to be exactly this kind. This is just the cheap stuff that I get from the grocery store, the dime store, whatever. Actually, it's kind of more convenient than some of the fancier glues, which is great because it's cheaper. Now, green stuff, for folks not familiar with what that is, I'm just going to take you over here real quick to Amazon and show you the different varieties of this and who sells it. So obviously, you can get the stuff on Amazon. I just ordered some myself because this is literally like the last green stuff I have. You can see that I believe Gale Force 9 has a brand. You see the stuff in the tube right here? That is my favorite because you see the stuff where it's the, the tape like that. The blue and the yellow, well, when they go together, they harden. And we found out the hard way, no pun intended, that that can harden in the package. So I kind of like the the tube like that. Yes, it's a little bit more, but it lasts forever. I mean, we've had it last 12, 13 years. So there's Gale Force online. So again, you've got plenty of options for your green stuff now you also don't want to mix a whole bunch of it at, at once we're just going to mix a little bit here and i'm not going to just do this forever here but there is a couple of ways of approaching the green stuff so we've got pretty much an equal amount of both right here 50 50 mix it doesn't have to be 50 50. actually if you go something like this where see there's more blue stuff than green stuff your your cure time will actually, I think, be a little bit shorter. So maybe a half an hour instead of 45 minutes or so for a, a full-on cure. And it's also going to be just a bit tougher. The more yellow you put in there, well, you'll get, you'll get more detail out of it. But I think your cure time is also going to be longer, maybe 50 minutes, an hour for that total cure. Now, I don't think I'm going to go quite that extreme here. Let's see if I can get just a bit. Yeah, see, there's a little bit more of the blue than the yellow. I'm going to mix these together. And I'm also just going to have some water on hand, too. And you, you do want to mix these together pretty well. And yeah, we're not going to just sit here and be mixing green stuff the entire time. I just wanted to kind of go over what green stuff is if you weren't familiar with it. And we were not aware of that whole thing where if you mix more blue or yellow, we thought it had to be 50-50 or nothing but you can go a little bit more one than the other and you can see it's see it's even just the color of this it's a little bit more blue well that's kind of handy when you're talking about having a metal figure like this that's going to go in here and, and again we got the pictures see picture here we got pictures in the corners of the three miniatures we're going to be putting together and here is number one your thief of hearts right here so we want actually a strong a nice strong joint right there we're also going to pre-fit some things so the wings here we know that goes in there and i have bent these wings you don't have to leave them they come in the package straight obviously so that it's a little easier to get them in the package but you can bend these wings i mean look at if i don't like that wing i can bend it like this now you don't want to bend it back and forth a bunch of times but you can see i've basically sort of sculpted that wing to have a nice little turn to it instead of being flat. Now these pieces here, you do want to give these a, just a quick check. Sometimes I will just take a file and, and maybe there's a little bit of burrs or whatever on your, your joint here. And sometimes I file those down or maybe if the that's a little bit long and it doesn't sit quite right, I'll sometimes take a little bit more out of it. And with this foot here, it took a a few tries to see exactly where that should go and actually has to kind of go off to the side like this the way i had it before was more of a straight on thing and that didn't quite fit here we're gonna just do a quick double check to make sure that fits reasonably well and the flame is up there not not like this i don't think you want that flame tilted to the side you want it like this and again we've got this big old piece here this is going to be the first one that we try. And actually, since this green stuff is ready and you also want to give this a little bit of time, when you do big joints like the wings or this one, 
you have to give it a little bit of time. So we're going to do this one, and then we're going to move on to the other ones, and then we'll swing back around to this. So we're going to do some glue here, glue on this side. I'm going to get this green stuff ready to go here. The idea is that the glue crystallizes the green stuff. It's almost like putting some kind of accelerant in there or <laughs> water. So we got a little glue over here. Maybe not, not too much. Not too much. And then we're going to kind of cover our joint here with the green stuff. The idea is the glue attaches the green stuff there. And now here, let's make sure we don't have too much glue so that it's not going to just completely flow over the top. And I do believe we have this the way it is meant to be. Yep. I'm just I'm looking at my picture. I told it the... Yeah, that is pretty much... It looks like it's about the same there. But what I've got to do now is let this cure. And you see how it kind of squeezed out a little bit there? That's actually not a horrible thing. I can use a sculpting tool. I can use my finger here, whatever. But now the green stuff is filled whatever gaps there are. Because inevitably almost every single joint, unless maybe it's plastic, may not fit totally perfect. The green stuff basically makes it fit the way you would want it to fit. So, okay. We are going to let her have a chance to dry here. And we're going to move on to some other ones. And I just want to get this one in his base too. So here you've got one of your Game of Thrones. you got these holes in the base here. Let's line this up right. Now I did just snip those down a touch so that they would not be sticking out from underneath your base here. He's there. Now this is not going to need a whole bunch of support. But I'm just going to throw my glue here. We'll get just a pinch of glue over here, too. It doesn't take a whole bunch, especially with this really thin glue like this. It doesn't take a whole bunch. Now we're going to get ourselves a couple pieces of green stuff. You'd be surprised. Sometimes a little bit of green stuff can go a long way. And because otherwise it's just going to kind of creep out from underneath there. All right, we got a couple of couple of green stuff blobs here. We're going to not necessarily sculpt those on there, but get them in place. And there you go. So he's attached. And you can see, look at that, the green stuff went all the way down through there. Okay. Now we're going to actually do one last, one last little set here. And then we're going to let those other, those other joints set up. Now we've got your dragon kin mage here. Her staff can go a couple of different ways. So it can go behind her foot. It can go in front of her foot. You can see in the picture there on the left that it's in front of her foot. I think I always just put it behind her foot more for extra stability because I have to ship these things out. They get played with, whatever. Now let's just uh, let's do some pre-fitting here. Let's just uh, now it's a little it's a, it's a small joint. This is why not really wanting to maybe be drilling into this so much. All right, so there we have a, a joint that's gonna fit, I think, reasonably well. Let's get ourselves a little piece of green stuff here. And again, that might even be too much. It looks like a tiny little dot. Every time I make a little dot, or what I think is a little dot, it ends up being a giant boulder and more than I actually need it. So I'm just going to go light on it this time. So there's our dot of glue. There's our dot of green stuff. It's in place. Glue over here. And with, with the glue, it, this is your this is your short-term hold. The green stuff is actually your long-term hold. So now, now we've got her arm in place. And we're just going to hold that a little bit here. But you see, now I can, now I'm not going to be floating this thing around, but I can let go of it 
because the green stuff is holding it now. Green stuff's holding it. I don't have to worry about it anymore instead of just sitting there holding it, praying that it doesn't fall off after I let go. Now what we're going to do is let those other, again, our larger joints like the one I hurt, we are going to let that set up for a couple of minutes and we're going to do the, the wings next and get those out of the way. It's time for some heavier stuff like the wings here. Now again, we sort of pre-fit those and I'm actually going to do a little bit of pre-fitting even with the green stuff here, just, just a tiny bit. So there's no glue on this side. The other side has glue though. I just want to see how much leftover green stuff am I going to have because if I have leftover green stuff, well, that's fine because I have a sculpting tool here and I can actually, I can take stuff away or I can sculpt it into some hair, extra feathers. I got options. I got options. You can see how that has filled in that gap right there. Let's do the same thing with the other side now. And see how that's kind of changed the, the shape of that? Now let's let's do this. Let's get some glue on this. And again, you don't want too much because if it's just going to be, you don't want it pouring out all over the place. You just need enough to hold it. That's it. Even as little as I tried to get in there, might even be a little bit too much. We're going to find out. Okay, so there's our wing. And you can see I've got some extra here. Options are sculpted into here or... Just take my tool here and just scrape this away. So see, we just got rid of the extra green stuff there. But what that's done is that it has filled in. It's filled in all the gaps. Like so. Now we're going to let this one just give, give it a few minutes because again it's a larger joint if it's a smaller one like the ones we're just about to do you don't quite have to worry about that so we're going to set that aside and you can also use a little bit of blue tack like this let's say you want to give it some support or whatever you can do something like this and give it just a bit of support so we're going to set that off to the side now because we've got this guy over here and we've got a couple of a couple of swords here. Well, a sword and a dagger. Now, right here, this is kind of the trickier joint, to, to say the least. And you can see how it goes on the picture. Now, this is where we're really going to have to rely on our green stuff, because you do have a hole there, and you do have a bit of a pin over here, like a mini one. I did file that down just a touch to get the pin a little bit more pronounced. This is going to require one of those, I think, smaller bits of green stuff here. And sometimes they're so infinitesimal, they're, you can barely even see them. So we're going to hopefully use that smaller one there. Getting just a little bit of glue. It does not take a whole bunch. There's a piece of green stuff. See that there? Sometimes you don't even need to put on more glue when they're small enough like that. And let's see what happens with our joint here. Now we can always put a little more green stuff on there if we want. But right there, you can see. Again, I think in position where it's supposed to be. And you can see it's holding there. So what we're going to do is let these joints have a chance to set for a few minutes, and then we're going to be back, and we'll get the rest of the parts on our angel and our other hand on this guy too. So the wings are in place, and you can see how I've bent them here. Obviously, with the, the reference pick there, they bent the wings down this way. I think this one is, is more straight out this way. I just wanted to have this sort of a look, like she's almost kind of coming down for landing. Again, you could bend these things out even more this way if you wanted to. You said I did that right here. I gave that a little bit more of a downward push. I also put the foot in here just because it was easier to be able to get to do these. Now, again, we're going to just 
dry fit these a couple of times here you can see according to the your, your reference picture there so they should just go about here I'm also gonna put this one I think I'll do this one first maybe yeah because this one has a little bit of a there's there's more of a seating on this one right here so it's less likely to move when I try to put the other one in if you're doing this obviously just do the one and then leave it sit there and then you have a little more time than I've got here also you could be working on just a whole bunch of figures at the same time that is another good way to slow yourself down and not kind of rush through your assembly on things I know we're all eager to get these things put together but there that's just a little glue green stuff glue and now our other piece we make sure the green stuff is sitting in the middle there and now you see why I didn't do that other piece first because look where my hand is now that is straight up and down and now I can still hang on to this and get the other arm attached without messing that one up and if you feel the need you can always put a little more green stuff say over the, the top of something right here and you say well you know maybe that joint's not exactly the way I'd like it to be you can always green stuff over the top I do that all the time even with plastic things but especially with resin and metal so I'm just I'm making myself a couple of little more balls of green stuff here sometimes it's handy for those things to just be right there at your fingertips all right let's not get too much on there we're gonna get our green so look at a little, little knob right in the end there the important thing is if there's if there's glue on the other side of that well that green stuff is just gonna stick to you and then you just have to get some new green stuff all right here we go here is our our last piece for this one and then anyway, we're just gonna we're gonna hold that one there for just a few seconds and we've got one more one more piece to do on our game of thrones figure okay we're just gonna let that one again let this one sit here now maybe I need to give it a little bit of support here. Here, let's, we can grab our blue tack and give that a little bit of support as it sets. Set this off to the side here, out of the way. We got one last piece to do. And this is one where obviously you don't have a really substantial and I'm calling it a pin it's really not a pin it's you got the, the the male female joint thing right here so you have a little bit of a divot there you just don't have much of anything here you could you could drill this out and pin it and that's what a pin vice is for you just you do something like this you drill it out but what if you don't have a pin vice or don't want to deal with that well let's let's just make sure this is in the right spot here okay it's going to cross in front of them we have a little thing of green stuff here you know what i'm going to actually put it sometimes it's easier to put the green stuff on the thing that you're going to attach so there's a little ball of green stuff sometimes it might take a few tries to get that on there So that is well set. Tiny bit of glue. See that if that's too much, I'm just gonna take a paper towel here and wipe some of the excess away. And we know it goes in front of them here. It's gonna cross just below the pouch. I'm just I'm looking at the picture there. So that's where it's going. See how it's crossing just below the pouch now. And that that green stuff has filled in all the gaps and the glue and the green stuff those are going to just kind of combine just like this joint right here is that's already solid I could already press on that joint there so hopefully this is helpful for you guys we've got our three dark sword figures ready to go we've got our female dragonkin mage all set 
We have our Thief of Hearts. I can already, I already can pick her up by that wing. And like I said, if you feel the need to throw a little more green stuff in there, you can. Back here, you can see I did sculpt just for fun. I just sculpted some extra hair that didn't have to be there. I just, it was fun. I thought it would, it would be kind of nice to have the hair sort of flowing over the wings because dark sword hair is, is very flowing. It's nice. <clears throat> you actually have some individual hairs that you can see. So I just wanted to take advantage of that, put a little bit more in there. So I hope this is helpful. Again, it's glue, green stuff, glue. So green stuff here, your two parts. You can mix it to different degrees. Glue, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be super expensive. This is obviously not super expensive glue. So this is helpful, and I hope you have fun assembling your Dark Sword miniatures too.